What's up guys, it's me Silvolf and um, well I thought that it was time for another unboxing video. I don't think there's going to be a new Furby this year unfortunately so uh, I got another robot that I've really wanted for a while and we're going to be unboxing him. And you can probably guess what he is because I put it as the title of this video. So anyway, uh, quite a few shout outs to get through today. We've got Ben Chen, Light Earth 123, Brock B, who turned 13 recently, so happy birthday, and also happy birthday to Oak Deer. Cat plays the Star Wars fan 2006, An Alice Angel Lover, Amber the MLP Lover, Honey Bunny and Geo Molly and Jill the Furblings, Shy Taheen and Super Furby Person. And I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Right, so, yeah, when I was a kid I always wanted a remote control car and no one ever got me one. I think it was probably because they're considered for boys which is a bit rubbish really because anyone can enjoy them. So I finally got a remote control car and it happens to be one of my favourite cars in the world which is Lightning McQueen. I'm a big fan of the Cars movies and yeah so this was absolutely perfect. Sphero have released a um, an app enabled Lightning McQueen that you can uh, use your phone to control him and things like that. I already have the app enabled droid uh, BB-8 and also the force watch as well, the force band. So yeah um, so far Sphero has impressed me and so I thought well this Lightning McQueen certainly looks good because he's called the ultimate Lightning McQueen so he arrived yesterday and yeah so here we go right so I got him from the Disney store and the first thing I noticed about the whole packaging thing is he comes in a nice brown box which I have actually opened here I don't have any scissors with me I forgot to bring them in so if there's any um any more sticky tape to open I will struggle but anyway yeah he comes in this box and he's really heavy so I don't actually know how big he is. I mean, you can see how big he approximately is from the box. But anyway, let's get on. So, we'll open him up. You can see that he's in a plastic bag. Inside, he fits quite snugly into this box. I figure if I do this, there we go. Turn the right way up. So, so he is in the box. Now, there is sticky tape but it's easy enough to take off. And there we go. So we'll slide them out. Now, Sphero's um, packaging and stuff is always really, really nice. They put their toys in um, nice sturdy boxes that you can keep and reuse to pack the toy in when you're not playing with it which is fantastic. They don't sort of like hook them in and tape them in like a lot of toy manufacturers do. You can just take out the, the toy and it's got a real feel of quality. So here's his box. The top is shiny. You can probably see it shining there. Um, let's have a look. So here it says, this is Lightning McQueen, a seven time Piston Cup champion, Lightning McQueen was born to race. Connect to the app, hit the gas, and see Lightning respond to your commands with his personality on display. Thanks to emotive actions and speech. Watch him lean into hairpin turns and drift like a pro. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. So it shows you a couple of things you can do, driving and drifting there. I won't read it all because it will just get boring and you can always pause it if you want to have a read of what the box says. So looking at the back of the box, we've got, it doesn't show up very well because it's all written in silver. A bit like the um, the writing on the top of the box, but you can see it shining there. Uh, so it just tells you various different points about him. His expressive LED eyes, sorry, LCD eyes. Bluetooth connection, responsive to touch, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, emotive suspension, lifelike voice and engine sounds animatronic mouth and running LED head and tail lights. So, and you can learn more at sphero.com of course. Um, so it tells you how long he, what his range is for the Bluetooth, which is 30 meters, um, 40 minute charging time, I think that is. Oh no, sorry, the battery lasts for 40 minutes. And he runs at six miles an hour. So he probably won't be allowed on the roads. Um, and then it just says various other things about him gear up with Lightning McQueen and help him train for the next big race. So it's, I think it's to do with things in the app. Um, guide Lightning to victory, build strategy, unlock skills, reactive touch and acting studio. 
and I know those are some of the features of the app which I have actually downloaded I got it last night I haven't looked at it yet though so here we go and on the bottom it's just all the technical stuff do not disassemble all devices are com not all devices are compatible um, and to check your your phone for compatibility I have an iPhone success so it should be fine um, so we take this off they've actually made it so you can peel this off really easily because it's not entirely stuck down so if we peel that carefully off that side and then this carefully off this side which is really helpful like that now I should be able to get him out of the box I'm guessing he doesn't require batteries because uh, BB-8 is it's chargeable, there he is so he is quite big so there's nothing much to see in that box a um, bit of padding at the top that's it so there he is and you can see that he's got wheel protectors on there to keep him safe so he is nicely packed in the box that actually peels off it's a sticker so it's probably just to make him look nice when you get him out um, and there's a bit of plastic he sat on here ultimate lightning McQueen and we've got a little tab at the back here open that and inside, let's turn it sideways so you guys can see inside we've got all sorts of things we've got a service manual which is obviously instructions on how to use him just got colour pictures and probably things written in a range of different languages yeah I can see it does because they like to give you every single language possible which is obviously done for cheap you know for cost effective things then they just have to do one manual for everyone and we've got these little oh it's a plug it is actually a plug I was going to say little red things but it's a plug um, another one. Oh, this is an American plug I think uh, what does it say on the back nothing absolutely nothing what's the other one? Oh no that's an American plug and the other one must be like an Australian plug maybe anyway he comes with different plug heads so it's easy to find out which one to use and obviously this is the UK one which I'll be using and this one here looks very much like a European one as well it might work in South Africa actually as well so he comes with everything all in one box which again cost effective so they just have to sell one to everyone and then you've got his charging cable which I think actually plugs into the back of him or something and the plug head which you put your desired plug on to depending on where you live in the world so put that back in put his manual back actually I'll keep the manual out but you've seen all the plug bits so how do we get him off the stand um, he should just lift off I think or maybe not Ah, oh, here we go. You just do that, I think. There we go. So, easy as anything. Thank Once again, Sphero's done a brilliant job with the packaging. It looks good, and it's really, really easy to, to uh, take his toy out. Um, so, here he is then. So, he is quite big, as you can see, comparing him to the size of my hand. He's bigger, he's longer than my hand. Although I have quite small hands, but there you go. Um looking at him here this part here is made of like a rubbery material um which I, i'm guessing is because it's animatronic and then you've got his eyes there and everything and obviously we peel that off in a minute looking at him underneath he looks much like any of your toy cars that you have you know the little die cast ones it's got all the details and stuff on there his wheels are rubber and go round like that um turning him around the other side's roughly the same really and then looking at the back, he's got the tail lights there, which I'm guessing light up as well. His head and tail lights light up. Even though in the original film they're actually stickers, because race cars don't need head and tail lights. So, uh, yeah, so there he is. 
Um, we'll peel this off. Oh. <laughs> it looks a bit scary now, doesn't it? He has no eyes. Um, I will keep the bit with his eyes on. I'll just put it down here. Yeah, he looked much better. I can see why they put that sticker on there now. Um, yeah. So I don't know if there's any charge in him. But if we look back here, where his gas or petrol would go in. His gas tank. You've got a little thing for him to charge. So you plug the charger into there, which is quite clever actually, because that's obviously how you refuel a car. And that's how you refuel him as well. Let's have a look and see if I can find where to switch him on. Or is he just not charged? Maybe I should look at the instructions. Good thing I kept them out. So it says here, peel off his eyes, and that's how you charge him. He takes 30 minutes to charge, and the, the socket looks very shocked. The American sockets always seem to look a bit shocked. And then um, download the app, which we have on the phone. And then his very, very small writing you can barely read. So, that's just a legal guide on the first page. And then it's in different languages. Oh, well, did you look at that? It actually doesn't give instructions. At all. It's useless. It just It's like a quick start guide, but it doesn't tell you how to switch him on or anything. Actually, to be fair, BB-8 came with a similar thing. And I think I had to look on, um, on the help guide online. Well, anyway, let's have a look at his app. We'll have a look at how he um, works and stuff in another video. So, his app here. Just get it up. I have loads of games on my phone. Right, so here we go. This is his app. Uh, we'd like to access the microphone, okay. I accept. Connect. Move device closer. Now clearly, his battery must be flat. So when you receive him in the box, the battery is flat. It's obviously not hooking up to him. Um, with BB-8, he's got a little charging station. And obviously I think Lightning is too big for a charging station. So uh, yeah, with BB-8, he doesn't have an on-off switch either. You just charge him. Or you turn your phone on and he connects up to it. So... I'm guessing, before we play with him further, we're going to have to charge him, which is what I'll be doing, well, after I've turned off this video. So, basically that was the unboxing of Lightning McQueen, and in the next video, part two, you'll get to see him in action, um, and I'll have sort of learned a bit of the app and stuff like that, and played with him a bit so I can show you what he does. So, I hope you've enjoyed part one, and I'll see you again in part two. This is Silver signing off. See you later.